what if you've ripped your games and they don't work? Or the archived one you downloaded isn't playing? That could be one of two possibilities. The game isn't compatible with the emulator, but you can check that here. Or the image is in the ISO format and to get around the wrong format we will need to download and use Extract X ISO and it can be downloaded from here. Go to Releases, click the Build, select the latest and we want the Extract X ISO Win32 Release.zip. When downloaded, go into the Downloads folder and extract. Once extracted, I would suggest moving this into the Emulator folder. Then delete the zip file. So let's convert this ISO into the correct version for XEMU to run it. Open up the folder where you move the Extract X ISO and move your non-working file into it. Drag and drop the non-working game onto the extract xiso.exe and let it do its thing. You'll now have a new folder appear named the same as your game. I would suggest renaming the game iso before continuing. What we need to do now is launch either a terminal window or PowerShell as admin. In Windows 11, you could just right click a free space in the window of the extract X ISO and select open in terminal. If like me though, you're using Windows 10, you may have to right click the Windows button on the taskbar, select Windows PowerShell admin. So if you're on Windows 11 and you're in the terminal window, type in dot backslash extract hyphen x iso then with a space hyphen c space and within quotation marks make sure that you type in the name of the folder and then hit enter and just let it do its thing however if you're on windows 10 like myself and you're in the powershell window Type in cd backslash, then cd space og and hit the tab key twice. And then type in dot backslash extract hyphen xiso.exe space hyphen c space. And again, within the quotation marks, type in the name of the game folder and hit enter. and wait for this to complete. When the process is finished, close the terminal or PowerShell window, delete the folder version of the game and also the renamed original ISO. and move the new one that you've just created into the games folder of the emulator. Your game should now work, providing it is on the compatibility list we checked out earlier. So there we go. By converting the ISO file into the correct format, the game's now working. And on that blue screen of death, Take care and I'll see you in the next one.